Welcome to this week's political notebook. In my notebook this week I've got the Kasatu Alliance and the state of play there and we've got the Jackie Celebi trial so we'll just chuck that away. Okay. Because the real issue of the day is political football. And I, I've, I've, I've got with me today BBK who is the Times uh, football columnist and, and South Times Africa's soccer leading soccer writer. And my mom calls me Barring Batukorchas because she insists on this Barring Batukorchas. Okay, sorry, Barring Batukorchas. Okay, BBK, wow. what's going on in football? I mean, we lost to Iceland last night. You had 11 men on the one side and 11 men on the other side running in opposite directions and freezing conditions. And other guys came, as uh, my colleague Carlos Amato said, they came to the pride and they wanted to turn the meat using ice tongs and it melted. And I think those guys were Bafana Bafana. That is why they, they froze one nil to Iceland, coming on the back of one nil to Norway. Looking at the way that they're playing, there's no way they're going to get an impressive result pretty soon because people will say, but they won one nil before against Madagascar. Hello, that's the whole point. Ray Handley, it's Madagascar that they beat. Madagascar that had players that looked like they had been picked up from the street. Uh, semi-professional, if you can even call them that. Who are the goalies allowed? Madagascar, remember the small matter? And we denied a penalty as well. And, but still Bafana won. And having played in the way that they played, the coach was very excited. He was very happy with the progress. I think he stuck out like a sore thumb, uh, my friend. Maybe we are blessed in that Santana is not one of the construction workers building the stadiums. Because I think we would not maybe have, would have met the FIFA deadlines. We would have missed October 30 to deliver all the stadiums because there doesn't seem to be shape taking place on the whole thing. You have to go back to the whole thing, the politics, and understand the context of his appointment. Parera says I'm going home. 15 months into the job, my wife, my darling Leila is dying. I need to be by her side. Every man who has loved a woman will have to understand that. But the president of the association, then Mulif Olifan, says, give us a recommendation. I don't think that he made the recommendation of one name. I think he made a list of names on a piece of paper, and my understanding is that one Philip Escolari's name was there. Luis Felipe Escolari, who won the World Cup with Brazil. And, and he was available at the time, wasn't he? He was going to be available. He was still tied up to Portugal, but he had already stated publicly, internationally, worldwide, that he is not going to renew his contract after the Euro 2008 with Portugal, meaning, yes, he was open. Okay. He was open to any offers. And for some reason, uh, we didn't want Scolari. We wanted somebody who had coached a, 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 club, a club team with uh, some degree of success. With some degree of success in the Brazilian league, uh, somebody who is a virgin, if I may use that, in terms of uh, international uh, uh, football, he's never been anywhere near a national team of a country. Why do we make that decision? Why do we go for that? I, I do not know. I, 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 I am not privy. I, I never sit in any of the National Executive Committee meetings of SAFA. But we are stuck with the person now. We are stuck with Santana. Okay, now. wait. You raised the question of the National Executive Committee meetings of SAFA. Okay. I just want us to have a look at a little something that happened at a press conference. It was, it was a PSL press conference, but it was related to a SAFA happening. Let's have a look. If you want to raise a couple of questions for clarity, but please understand and respect the role of me as the CEO. So, Shepard, yes. SMS sent to us on my phone says, action, semicolon. Dear Sir Chairman, Dr. Ivan Kosa to address media at a press briefing at the PSN offices at one today. This comes from the PSN. So what you're telling us, frankly, is not one. You make us wait for an hour and you come and tell us this. Come on, show the media some respect. I do? No, 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 you're telling us that the, the invitation did not say the chairman is going to address no, the media. Not. I am reading to you your own invite. So do not tell us lies. Okay, now, what happened there? Where's my cell phone? Oh, I put it away because <laughs> of this. The, an, an, a, a text message, an SMS came through on, on our phones, and I mean us as journalists, soccer journalists, to say, agent, semicolon, PSL Chairman Dr. Ivan Koza to address the media at the PSL offices today. Something to that effect, uh, specifying a time. Um, now, the PSL Chairman, as you would know, had been in the running for the SAFA, you know, uh, presidential elections. And uh, the Saturday before the Tuesday, 
he had walked out, you know, to say that he was withdrawing his name from the race. And also, the point is, he had not spoken since the elections. After Kirsten Numatandani was elected president of SAFA and Mwele Nkonyani was retained as vice president, and also Shuz Mazibugo was, you know, appointed the other vice president, meaning that the PSL chairman also stayed because by virtue of being the chairman of the PSL, he also is a vice president of SAFA. But yeah. now that this has happened, this development with the election had happened and they had stormed out, nobody had heard, you know, we didn't know what was in his headspace. And it was an interesting story, a developing story. When you get that SMS to say, he's going to say something. you got to be there. Any self-respecting journalist with their salt is going to make sure they are there. So there we are, we wait. Please bear with us, we are still compiling a statement, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and it starts maybe around about quarter to two, two o'clock. Wow, I'm looking there, I'm surprised. Has the chairman changed? Has it become white overnight? I don't know. It's Shetel Sim, the PSL CEO, ascending to the podium, explaining, 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 struggling to read through a cumbersome statement that really told us nothing that was neither here or there, and in the end, it was a whole lot of nothing for me. The reason we were there, it was a packed room, was because we were told that the chairman of the PSL, Dr. Ivan Koz, was going to say something related to the SAFA elections. It didn't come, and we were told that he's not, and he never said that he was going to address us. Now, I know that I'm a product of Bandu education, a very proud one at that, but I can read my English, and I know what that said. That said he was going to address the press conference. So, Shetel Simo, anybody else, is not going to come and insult the intelligence of journalists. Now, Martin Dan is the president of SAFA, and I don't think that it can change now. We must move forward, all of us who give allegiance to South African football, we must now focus on the one thing, of giving the world, of on behalf of Africa, and making sure that the word excellence and Africa can be mentioned in the same sentence with the 2010 World Cup as South Africa as a stage on behalf of Africa. Absolutely. But who's going to coach the team? Maybe Carlos Abedo Pereira. And if he does, do you think we can... Put on a good show. Look, Raymond, he's been there, he's done that, he's bought the T-shirt. I look back at the time he spent in South Africa, the 15 months that he was here. I look back at what the team, the state of the team, and look at what he did, and look at where he left the team. I'm not saying that we were ready to build the world. I'm saying that when I saw him taking the team to Ghana, I could see a revolution taking place in Bafana Bafan. I admire the fact that he came into a country where there are no proper developmental structures. There is no proper process of nurturing and identifying talent and making sure that that event, that process rather, is not an event but a process. He takes players like Tiko Modiso, who've never played for Bafana Bafana, Kakesho Tihwacho, who've never played for the team, very Tepo Masilela, he's is, is, is working with what he has. He's not complaining to say, hey, these guys are not at the same level as Brazil. Mm. He's saying that here it is. This is my situation. Now, when you want to make orange juice and you find yourself with lemons, my friend, you're not going to say, I can't make orange juice. You must make lemonade. You still have a drink and it's going to be nice. He worked on these boys, he fast tracked their development. There they were integrated with the overseas pastors. They wanted to play for the country. You could see that there was something, there was positivity about the team. Wife, seek, go back to Brazil. Whether I agree with that or not, it's a matter for another day. But recommendation seven names or whatever names they pick Santana on the ticket that is going to do it to give us continuity. Continuing where? Barrera left off. What happens? I said I'm a product of Bandu education, a very proud one, but I know progress when I see it. I know continuity when I see it. This has not been continuity for me. And I think that there is no need for Safa to fire Santana. There is no need. Be man enough, look at it, do a proper introspection. Say to yourself, perhaps, perhaps on this occasion, I beat more than I can chew. This is not my beat. This is not my fight. I cannot. There is nothing wrong in admitting that I gave it my best but it looks as if my pastor's not enough. There is nothing wrong in that. I give you more honor, I give you more respect if you do that. Then continuing to try something that is clearly not coming together. It looks as though the players do not have the confidence in the coach. They are not going to say it in public. We speak to people, we speak to players. They are not going to say it in public, but you look around and you can see, you can see. Fabio Capello gets a job as the coach of England. Yeah. The very first time they go for a foreign coach, an Italian for that matter, gets there, 
the English media busy, hey, Italian, what is he going to say? How are we going to... He speaks in English. Jose Mourinho, Portuguese, gets a job. Coach, Inter Milan, gets there. He's surprised, he speaks fluent Italian. Joel Santana gets the job, Bafana Bafana coach, he speaks Port English. Carlos Amato insists he speaks Venda. I'm still trying to make it out, but I try to understand him because I want to work with the coach, because I want to see the coach work and succeed. Nobody wants Santana to fail. Okay. Nobody wants him to fail, but for me, it looks as though it's too much. These three more matches that Safa are saying are giving them, I, I don't know. It's uh, postponing the inevitable. It doesn't okay. look like it's going to happen, my friend. Thank you very much, BBK. On that note, that's all we have in the Political Notebook this week.